Hi, I'm Glenn, and today I'm going to be showing you how to put together the Rollinson Verrocknet Pergola. As you can see, this is plenty big enough for a two to show one of our Kettler Palmer corner sets in our brand new show. So, first things first, let's discuss what you get in the box. You get various wooden components that have built this elegant, sturdy pergola. All the wood has been pressure treated to help prevent rot. It also ensures that it stays beautiful for years to come. You also get a polyester canopy that's showerproof and can be easily removed for winter storage. As well as that, you get the metal runners that allow the canopy to be slid away when the sun comes out, allowing you to take advantage of those bright sunny days. As well as all that, you get the necessary fittings and fixings and the instructions. Now, when it comes to assembling, you're going to need a few pieces of equipment. You're going to need a drill, two wood bits, 10mm and 3mm, a socket and spanner, and some lubricant spray. Step one requires parts one, two, and 10. Ensure that five runners are placed onto each outer track. Step two A requires parts one, four, 14, 15, and 16. Lay two outer legs down on a platform with the groove facing up. Then place a left hand track between each leg on those grooves. It's very important that you ensure the legs are square with the track and also that the legs are pushed right up to the metal track insert. Then draw some pilot holes using the 10mm wood bit and insert the nut, bolt and washer. Step 2B requires parts 2, 4, 14, 15 and 16. Simply repeat steps 2A but this time placing the right hand track on top of the last two outer legs. Step 2C requires parts 3, 5, 14, 15 and 16. Again, repeat steps 2A, only this time place the centre track with the pulley system inside the two centre legs. Once the centrepiece is assembled, attach the cleat to the leg using the 40mm black screws. Step 3 requires parts 6 and 17. Stand up the three leg sections and position a rafter at each end across these leg sections. Drill pilot holes above each leg using the 3mm wood bit and secure it with the 70mm screws. Space the final five rafters evenly between the two end ones. Fix each as you did the first two. Using the corner braces, secure each leg to the end rafter. Again, you should drill pilot holes using the 3mm drill bit before screwing in the 70mm screw. Step 5 requires part 8, 9, 12 and 18. Slide each fixed canopy tube through the last two spaces in the canopy. Connect the two together using the tube extension joint. You may have to remove the stoppers in the tubes first. Fix these two canopy tubes to the canopy legs just under the track using the 40mm screws. Step 6A, lubricate each track and wipe away any excess. Step 6B requires part 11. Push each of the 10 canopy tubes through the runner, thread it through the canopy and then connect it to the centre runner. When you push into the centre runners, ensure that the push mechanism is properly loaded. To purchase this product, click on the link in the description box below. Plus, subscribe for more how-to videos and product insights. Thank you for watching. Beautiful.